Last week, we were telling you about record low temperatures in the Midwest and East. Tonight, forecasters are predicting record highs this week in Southern California, which is already suffering with a drought. The polar vortex was behind the deep freeze. Ben Tracy tells us about the related weather phenomenon that's keeping the rain away. This ranch in Central California now has to buy hay to feed its herd. It's so dry they can't grow grass on these normally lush hills. It looks like the moon. You know, the ground's cracked. It's, it's just bare. Ed and Karen Strone's cows are hungry and barely have enough energy to feed their calves. This week, the Strones will sell off a hundred of them. We keep looking at the skies and watching the weather report, but they don't keep bringing any rain for us. We're just bone dry here, really, from Texas to California, from Oregon to Colorado. Bill Patsard is a climatologist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He says what's known as the Pacific Decadal Oscillation has warmed waters in the upper Pacific. That has created a strong high pressure system pushing the jet stream north. It's so persistent, meteorologists have nicknamed it the Triple R, ridiculously resilient ridge of high pressure. It essentially steers the jet stream, which delivers our rainfall and our snowpack, up into Canada, sometimes into Alaska. Are there any signs that this pattern is going to change anytime soon? My forecast is for a continuing drought here in the American West. I'd love to be wrong. 2013 was the driest year on record in California. 87% of the state is now in a severe drought. It breaks your heart. <laughs> it's just, it's really sad. If rain doesn't fall in the next three weeks, Ed and Karen Strone may be forced to sell another 60 cows. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.